welcome to the little world of wonders thank you for coming back or if this is your first time here welcome also this is a free baby sensory and music class that you can follow along at home right then today's theme is animals yes we all love animals and the props that we will need for today's session are some, well I have some finger puppets here for my classes. So these are old McDonald little finger puppets. If you don't have any of these to hand, you do have, I'm sure, some stuffed toys that you can bring out. So have one, two, three, five little stuffed toys. Who cares what animals they are? They could be a spaceship. It doesn't matter. We will just bring it in front of baby's eyes during the old McDonald song. So prop number two. <laughs> It's the good old sensory blanket and we have used this many a times now in the videos. If you still haven't got one, don't worry. I'm sure you do have tinfoil in your kitchen. So just a word of warning with tinfoil, it rips easier, it's a bit harder. So do not leave babies unattended with tinfoil. Um, this is a softer material since it's an emergency foil blanket. Um, so if you can get your hands on one of these, um, try, and, try and do it because babies love, 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 love this. And to go with that, I have these little, I don't know what you call them, LED spiky balls um, that light up, which when you put them against the blanket and the room is a bit darker, it's, it makes a really nice reflection. Um, but don't worry if you haven't got anything like this. All you need, do you have any toys, any little small building blocks, all you need is five because we're going to be singing five little ducks and each of these represents a little duck. Or so if you have rubber ducks, even better, if you go to your bathtub, grab the rubber ducks, um, bath toys, anything as long as there's just five. And we've used this as well. <laughs> it's a yoga ball. This is a small version. The large version um, is also great. I'm sure you have one laying around after labour. If not, do you have a beach ball in the garage? Um, do you have anything that's soft and bouncy? If if you don't, don't worry. You could use your knees for that because we're going to be singing Five Little Monkeys, and you could do you can do a little lap play, no problems. And the last prop. A shaker. I have a little maraca shaker here. You could have any sort of instrument. A bell, a drum, anything that makes a noise. Or if you don't have any instruments whatsoever, I'm sure you have two teaspoons or um, a wooden spoon in your kitchen. That will do the trick. So, if you haven't got those props all ready to hand, pause this video now, run and get them, and join us for the welcome song. But if you are good to go, let's go ahead and sing the good morning song. If you don't already know, there's a separate video with actions for the song that you can learn to do with baby or just follow along. Here we go. Are we ready? Good morning, good morning. Open those eyes, reach up and touch the sky. Either have them on your knee like this and we can 
show them the little puppets in front of their face or they want to be laying down completely up to you rosie can be here so i can bring them closer to the screen to show you at home also so here we go are we ready old mcdonald old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o and on the farm there was a pig e-i-e-i-o with a here and a there here a there everywhere old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o Oh, and on the farm there was a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on the farm there was a chicken, E-I-E-I-O, with a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck, every <laughs> Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a dog, can you see him? E-I-E-I-O. With a woof, woof there, and a woof, woof here. There a woof, here a woof, everywhere a woof, woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on the farm there was a sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a ba there and a ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I did not need all those key changes, let me tell you. So let's go ahead and put those toys away and get ready. We've been on the farm. Let's come indoors and see what is the small little animal that hides in our walls of the house. Sometimes it's on the farm also. It's a little mouse, hickory dickory dock. Right then, for this lap play, babies, old babies, can be just sitting nicely like this on your laps and we will do the actions this way. Younger babies, you can have them facing you, as always, head, neck and back fully supported by your thighs and legs tucked in nicely and you have a nice strong eye connection. But for older ones, it's just nice to mix it up and have a different perspective. So this is Hickory Dickory Dog, with a bit of difference. Follow along, it's very, very easy. Are we ready? Okay, shall we start with tap? Ready? Hickory Dickory Dock, the mouse tapped up the clock. The clock struck one, the mouse tapped down. Hickory Dickory Dock, tick tock, tick tock. What's next? Brush. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse brushed up the clock, the clock stuck to, the mouse brushed down. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock, shall we poke? Hickory dickory dock, the mouse poked up the clock, the clock stuck three, the mouse said wee. Hickory dickory dock, tick Hickory dickory dock, the mouse squeezed up the clock, the clock struck four, the mouse said no more. Hickory dickory dock, tick tock, tick tock. That one is a nice little lap play just to get, you know, the body involved and different sensations, the squeezing, the brushing just for some fun with baby and for them to explore obviously different sort of baby touch on their skin right then okay we're gonna head outdoors and we're gonna find a big lake ready so here is our makeshift lake it's a very sparkling one here in hong kong but just place the foil blankets on the floor and you and baby can sit on it baby can lay on it whatever you choose and then I've just gone ahead and place the, well, if you have LED balls or any sort of toys, the ducks on there, 
because we are going to be singing five little ducks and each time a duck goes away we'll take a ball away but and in the end we'll bring them all back so here we go five little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away mother duck said Only four little ducks came back. Oh no! Four little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother ducks went quack, 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 quack. Oh. But only three little ducks came back. Hmm. Three little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Oh dear. Two little ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. Oh, poor Mother Duck. One little duck went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But no little ducks came back. Oh, sad mother duck went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said Oh, and all of the ducks came back, hooray! <laughs> all of the ducks went swimming one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 and all of the ducks quacked back. Hooray! My daughter, she loves that song and she really gets into the emotion when the mother is very sad. So it's a nice play when they're older the emotional play as well of happy and sad and happy and sad well talking of a sad chord <laughs> anyway i have put the emergency foil blankets to one side and brought in the yoga ball as i said if you don't have a yoga ball a beach ball your knee you can do a knee play is absolutely fine but I'm sure someone you know, if you don't have one, has one of these laying around in the garage. Um, and then we will go ahead and sit baby on the ball so you can bounce them and have a different sensation. The younger they are, you can have them facing you for this activity. So you have a nice, strong eye connection throughout this song. And of course, do not forget the head and neck and underarm support for the younger ones if they're older. All you need to do is have a little bounce around with them like so and hold their arms. You could also have them on their tummies for this if they enjoy having a little bit of a roll around. But let's start by having them sitting, facing in or out, whatever you choose. And we're gonna see the monkeys, but they're not in the trees. They're on the bed. What? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, one fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four, right, four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off whoop, and bumped his head. Mother called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How much is left then? Three. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, one fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Bounce, 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 let's go. How much is left? Two. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, one fell off Boop. and bumped his head. Mummy called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Right then, let's go for it. One little monkey jumping on the bed. 
Oh, he fell off and bumped his head. Mum called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> Did you have fun bouncing around with that, Rosie? Yes. Rosie, I'm going to pop you down there and get rid of this yoga ball for now and grab my ukulele. Okay, now it's time to reach out for your rattles. And all you do with this song is tap to the beat, have a little bit of a play with baby, go from left to right, go from up to down, do big circles, anything for that hand and eye if they want to hold the rattle themselves, coordination, or you can just track those eyes if they're small, track the sound with the rattle while we sing. So Rose, you can go there. <laughs> you sit up with your rattle. The ants go marching. Do you know this song? So if you do sing along, no, that's not the right chord. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stopped to suck his thumb, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. The little one stopped to tie his shoe. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stop to say wee. And they all go marching down. with that that's a really good one for older kids in um in toddler classes where they go actually marching around the room in a circle with a drum or with a rattle to get um confidence with the beats of the sound so there you have it right then another session is winding down can you believe it so let's grab our babies you can have them sitting here like this we're gonna um, have a look at some beehives. So we've gone from magic underground to looking up to the trees and seeing a beehive. What if you just want to place them on your legs like this? Whatever, as long as you can see them, they can see you and they can see your hand. Now, do you know the beehive song? Here is the beehive. Do you remember? Here we go. Here is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away so nobody sees. Here they come flying out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. Flying high, diddle, 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 diddle. flying lows, flying fast, Whoosh. flying slow. This is the beehive, but where are all the bees? Hiding away so nobody sees. Here they come flying out to the sky. One, two, three, four, five. Buzzing highs, buzzing lows, buzzing fast. Whoosh. Buzzing slow, buzz to the left, buzz, buzz, buzz. buzz to the right, buzz, buzz, buzz. One, two, three, four, five. My daughter says she absolutely loved that song for some reason. I don't know if it's because of the buzzing or because of the counting element or that it's just a nice hand song for them to look and laugh and just enjoy that moment with you. So there we are, another session has come to an end. We're gonna go ahead and sing 
our goodbye song now so you can have keep babies there if you just want to you know soothe them to sleep cuddle them up here put them in on the floor in their baskets wherever you choose rosie you can pop over there so i'm gonna grab my ukulele and sing our goodbye song stay safe everyone and see you soon goodbye friends Yeah.